Automatons are machines that are designed to follow a predetermined set of actions. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own. Let's get started. Grab your two support pieces and lay them out with the slits at the top and the notches facing outwards. Stick one sticky foam square directly underneath each slit. Now take your tall support piece and flip it over. Slide each of the sidewalls into the slits and press them down to lock them in place. Grab the rectangular cardboard brace and place it into the angled slits between the two sidewalls. Slide the walls into the slits in the short support piece and press down. Grab your seven cardboard spacer pieces and slide them through the vertical slits in the sidewalls. Flip the whole frame around and slide the cardboard locking piece down onto the spacers to hold them in place. Now that you've built the frame of your automaton, you're ready to assemble the crank. Orient your frame so that the shorter side is on the right and slide your crank into the hole. Grab an O-ring and slide it all the way down the crank to the last notch. Slide your first cam all the way down your crank to the first O-ring and sandwich it between another O-ring. Slide another O-ring down your crank to the next notch. Then slide another cam down to the last O-ring, but make sure this one faces the other direction and sandwich it again between two O-rings. Keep going until you have all six cams and 12 O-rings on your crank. Make sure that the cams are alternating directions and that there are two O-rings in between each one. Now find the two sets of wide notches at the very end of your crank. Sandwich the set closest to the last cam in between two of your long sticky foam strips. Slide the very end of the crank through the hole in the other side of the frame and add two more sticky foam strips to the other set of notches in the crank to hold it in place. The last things we need to build are the stairs. Starting from the right, stand up your stair pieces shortest to tallest and flip them so that they slant down to the left. Attach a sticker to the bottom of each stair piece. Position your frame so that the crank is on the right and drop the stair piece down onto the cams, tallest to shortest. Lastly, grab your chute. Stick a sticky foam square into both of the square corners. Flip the chute so that the foam faces down and slide the chute onto the frame. Now drop your marbles onto the steps and watch them climb. Check your Tinkerzine for a bonus project exploring cans and share your creations with us on Facebook. We love seeing what you come up with. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.